my wife and I converted to veggie oil a couple years ago. I've been looking into doing it for three or four years, um, just as an idea. Uh, I thought it'd be a neat project to do. So we actually converted about a year ago, and it took it took four days of just playing around with, with the parts to get it all to work, and it's been running through the whole winter. Yeah, some people call it an end conversion, which I think um, is intimidating. Uh, I'm not a mechanic in any way. I know I knew literally nothing about diesel engines or car engines or anything. This has two tanks, one in the back, one in the front. I took the front gas tank off, um, which is simply unscrewing bolts, drilled a hole in the front of it, and inserted instead of the, the, the pickup line uh, that the diesel came with, it has a new pickup hose, drilled a hole, stuck a new pickup in. And this pickup is connected to an auxiliary pump, connected to an auxiliary filter. Um, just to give it a little extra, little extra help, because it's thicker, it's more viscous than regular diesel. Um, and those, that pickup line is connected, uh, it's, it's wrapped around with two coolant hoses. And what I've done is I've taken the coolant lines and I've teed into them. So as the engine heats up, that coolant is heated to however many hundreds of degrees. And that line then, the coolant goes back to my engine, hot, warms up the vegetable oil in the pickup and goes back to the engine return. So it's constantly flowing back and forth, heating that vegetable line. And that way the vegetable line just simply flows into the engine um, hot, reducing the viscosity, which makes it run just like regular diesel. So there's no biodiesel, it's just straight vegetable oil that's heated up.